Hi, I'm Wendy Mador and I wrote Wendy Quill. Hi, I'm Mina May and I'm the illustrator of Wendy Quill. The idea for Wendy Quill came from my life. It's in many ways an autobiography. I've changed a few little bits to protect people's um, identity. Um, but for example, um, my very uh, first school play was Peter Pan and Wendy. And I expected to be Wendy, of course, I was a real Wendy. And I got the part of the crocodile's bottom, a fact which I'm still getting over now. I'm 11 years old and I'm going to be 12 soon. My mum's a writer and my dad does math stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a funny story really because originally I was meant to illustrate the Wendy Quill books but whilst I was doing some character sketches Mina kept interrupting me and saying mum look I've been doing this on the iPad. At first I was a little bit dismissive but then I turned around had a look and I was like oh my goodness that is Wendy Quill. Mina can you go and draw me a Florence Hubbard? So Mina went away she did another uh, illustration, came back with an amazing Florence Hubbard and it was as if, as if she was in my head drawing exactly what I wanted and I compared them with my own illustrations and Mina's were loads better. When I'm illustrating for Wendy Quill, um, I, don't, I don't use paints or crayons or any of that because um, I use an iPad and iPads have like all the textures in one so it's a lot easier and um, if you need to go back or something, um, it's really easy because you don't have to rub anything out or anything will start again. The illustrations are a lot clearer as well. It's actually quite easy and it's not really tricky or anything. 